Hi everybody, this is the video for lesson 2.4, um, but I'm going to start out by going over lesson 2.3. Um, there's some important information to know from lesson 2.3 that you will be quizzed on um, following lesson 2.4. So for this lesson, you had to show um, the potential energy for attracting and repelling magnets. So I'll quickly do that now. So to find the potential energy that's up here, 7105, so I would type that here, 7105, and the decimal doesn't really matter so much. And for attracting magnets, the first thing I'm going to do is put it towards the magnetic field. So this is something I wasn't too clear about in my, in my video for 2.3, and you can see here with the field lines, to move it towards my magnetic field, I'm going to move it closer, not touching, but closer, and I'm going to write down this, so maybe even a little closer. And I'll see that I get 6,505. So I'd write that here. And you could have also used the weak magnets too. We would just have smaller numbers here, which is totally fine. Um, and now I want to move my magnets against the magnetic force or away. So here, to go against it, since it's pulling together, I'm going to pull it farther away from each other should be lined up. Okay, so then I get my potential energy up here, 7,156. Okay, and looking at this, I can see that um, for my initial potential energy for my magnets were first placed, when I moved them closer together or towards their magnetic force, I got a lower potential energy. And when I moved them away from their magnetic force, I got a higher, slightly higher, um, energy output. Now I'm going to do the same thing for repelling magnets. Put them closer together. Repelling will be like this. 2,000, sorry, 7,231. And now here's where the difference is. That, again, I wasn't too clear about in my 2.3 video. We are moving um, with the magnetic force and for repelling magnets that is going to be away. So I move it away to follow my magnetic force, right? Because if I let these run, they will go away from each other and I get 7,184. And then, sorry, I was moving it with, this is the confusing part, right? It's I'm moving it towards the magnetic force, but in repelling that is going to be moving away. And then when I go against the magnetic force, closer, and write this down, 7,418. And we can see again, when I move away from the magnetic force, I do get a higher um, amount of energy. So that would be claim B. Energy increases when a magnet is moved away from the magnetic force. And this is um, an example of what you could write. Potential energy increases when a magnet is moved against the magnetic force in a system of repelling magnets. When the sec second magnet is moved against the repelling force, the potential energy increases in a system of attracting magnets. When the second magnet is moved against the attracting force or away from the first magnet, the potential energy increases. Okay, so that's the review of 2.3. Now getting into 2.4. We will also need to use the simulation. This part, we're going to use a new feature. We're going to use the lock feature. So we're going to place one weak magnet toward the left of the screen with the north pole facing up, and we're going to lock this in place. So I have my weak magnet here, and I'm going to lock it in place just like that. Next, place a second weak magnet, or that's going to represent the spacecraft, to the right of the launcher magnet with the north pole facing up. So both will have north pole facing up. Position the spacecraft magnet, the indicated number of grid points away from the launcher magnet, and that you'll get from this table down here. So for Monday's test, which we'll do together, or I'll demonstrate for you now, it will be four grid points between the magnets. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. The four grid points between, so it'll be like this. And I'm going to record my potential energy, 2,722. OK, 
Okay, and that's my initial potential energy. Then I will run and observe the movement of the spacecraft magnet and then analyze to review changes in potential and kinetic energy during the launch. Come here, run. Okay, then I will analyze. And I will see, I will get my potential energy here, 2,581. And put that here. And my kinetic energy after the launch is 141. So you'll do that for the Tuesday and the Wednesday launch, get that information, and then answer the questions down here. Today's assignment, you also have optional review quizzes um, for your quiz tomorrow. I highly recommend doing it. Um, there will be a few overlap questions potentially, so take a look at that and let me know if you have any questions.